Well, first of all, you know, what do, what's the description of a good director is a really good question because I think all of us are, are still looking for it, whether you're a director or not. I think you're always looking for that. Uh, I studied a lot of the directors. I watched hundreds and hundreds of movies, uh, and that's how you study a director, basically, by the movies they make. And, and you start realizing there are certain things that some directors do and some directors don't do. Uh, and then I also had, I was very lucky because I was a camera operator for, you know, a good portion of my career, half my career. Now it's tipped over to directing a little bit more, but, but half my career was a camera operator. And at the time, I think my resume had about 150 directors on it. So that means that I worked with so many different guys and I saw the guys that I liked and, and they were doing a good job with the actors. And then you learn from the guys that are doing a really bad job with the actors. So what not to say to an actor is as important what to say to an actor. So, you know, there, there is no formula. I mean, everyone's always looking for, for the formula. And, and when I first started as a director, all I could do is, is go by instinct. Uh, the very first job I did was a one-hour drama. I, I never made a short movie. I never made a rock video. I didn't do a, you know, I didn't do any of that. I went right from being a camera operator to being a one-hour drama director. And so I had to learn, you know, by fire basically. And and all I could do is is take from all the other directors I worked with. And that's really where my university was, working with all these directors and saying, you know, Daniel Petrie Jr., fantastic director. I worked with him on the movie. I remember the way he worked. That's what I want to do. You know, other directors I didn't like, I'm not going to do that. So I really picked and, and cho you know, chose from the directors I liked. And I was very lucky to work with a lot of them and a lot of good ones to be able to pick from that. And then watching other people's movies like Scorsese and Spielberg, I never worked with, but I got to watch their movies and, and saw what they did. The bottom line for me, basically, and when I, when I look at a script and when I think about what I want to do with a script is it always comes down to, and you're going to hear me say it about 20 times in this interview, and that's what's the story you want to tell. And you got to make sure it's a good story. And that's my job. My job is to get that script and find the story, because sometimes the story isn't clear in the script, and that's where you have to be involved as a director and go back to the writers and say, this is missing and that's missing, and, and I think this needs to move here, and, and what's the best story? And then go out and tell that story. And then getting all the tools that you have, uh, which are actors, which are you know, visually, what are you going to do to tell the story, because that's very important, uh, and then you know, how are you going to cut it, you know, what's it going to look like from a production design, What's it going to look like from a wardrobe design and a makeup design? All of those things are only to serve one thing, to tell the story, whatever it takes to tell that good story. So for me, all of that really, my, my favorite directors, the guys that I think are good, are people that are out there you know, telling good stories. Now, you know, I get criticized because you know, people look at my list of best movies and go, how is that a good movie? That's not a good movie. But it's, it's not fair because the way I judge a movie is, even if it's a simple, small little comedy, what did they set out to make? You know, when you're making a small, simple little teenage comedy, you're doing it because that's what you want to do. You're not making, you know, Australia or you're not making a Scorsese or a Spielberg picture. You're making a simple comedy. How did they make that comedy? Did they do what they, they set out to do? You know, did they make a comedy that appealed to teenagers, that had a great beginning, middle, and end? Did they take you to a new world, make you believe that world existed, and, and make you believe those characters existed? If they did that, it's a good film. And so that's really the important part is what's your story and tell a good story. And, and I'm finding stuff on the Internet all the time. People send them to me now. They go, check out this little movie. And when I find one I like, I send it to everybody. Because I say, this is it. And sometimes it's so simple. It's the simplest little story. But I said, I say to people, that's a good director. You know, this young guy out of God knows where that made this little black and white movie, you know, and put it on the internet, that's a good director. Because I started watching this, and for four minutes, I'm staring at the screen, believing these people exist, and totally believing the story. And to me, that guy is as good as Spielberg. Because he set out to make his story, and he did. You know, and Spielberg sets out to make a story, and he does. And so that's the important part for me. And that's what I try to, you know, when I do workshops and I talk to students, that's the important part. You better have a good story. And it's got to be a story that, a, you know, you got to know who your audience is and make that story for that audience. You know, you can't make, you can't make it just for yourself. You know, there are some filmmakers that will disagree with me, but I'm not, I, I just don't, I don't believe in, the, in, that, in that type of filmmaking. So you have to know who your audience is and make the movie for them. Uh, I'm now, I've done it for so long 
that uh, you know I just you give me give me words on a piece of paper and I can direct them for you I mean I've, I've got to that stage because I'm in television mostly and, and that's how it works and and you also don't have the time you have on a feature to work on a script for months I mean you virtually get it you know if you're doing a television show you have eight days to prep it and eight days to shoot it in eight in that eight days you're fixing the script you're picking the actors you're picking the wardrobe you're going to all these locations and then eight days later you're shooting it so you have to work fast so that speed has given me the ability to basically grab any script and make it right away uh, a lot of what i do is on the floor that's what i'm probably most proud of to answer your question is the is the ability to get a scene and think about it you know when I first read it and start to put it together in my head but then on the floor if things are changing if I'm running out of time if I see something better I have this amazing ability to change it right away and find what's better and take it you know and and I think that that takes years to get to that that's not something you're gonna do coming out of school because I remember when I first started directing I had all these shot lists I had every shot laid out I haven't done a shot list probably in 15 years now you know the shot list is all right here now you know so it's, it's very different it, it's a very different way of doing it but it took me a long time to get to that stage you know you have to shot list everything at first and then what experience gives you is the ability to get off that shot list you know to have it as an idea which is good and you can communicate it to everybody but the second things start to change for the good or the bad because they'll change for both you have to be able as a director to realize that somehow it's going to be better for your storytelling and forget the shot list because you made that shot list sitting by yourself at home now you're out in the real world and it's raining and the actor is not getting that line and the light is different and we can't get the camera where you wanted it when you were sitting at home designing it so you really have to be able to change like that I think the second one for me is uh, working with all the people involved uh, on both sides and so I was a camera operator so I was behind the camera for you know a, a big part of my career as, as a technical guy so I know what a crew is going through I know where their morale is I know what it's gonna take to motivate them uh, because I was one of them for many many years and so that's really important to get a group of 150 people to do what you want you need to know what every one of their jobs are and be able to communicate what you need to them and so that I think I do really well because I was one of them for so many years uh, and that's important and then and then the, the second set of people are the actors you know and that's something that I didn't have a lot of training with because I was behind the camera and I didn't get a lot of training with with actors until I started directing uh, but then I realized right away you know there are different directors that treat actors differently uh, I'm an actors director uh, you know I, I'm the guy that I love my actors my actors are very important uh, when it's their turn to work you know I'm gonna give the the technical crew their hour or whatever it takes to light the scene but then when it's done it's their turn to be quiet and when my actors come on set it's me and the actors I don't want to hear anybody else nothing disturbs them and I protect them like they're my children so the actors are very important for me I have great relationships with all the actors I've ever worked with I got a great relationship with Kiefer obviously you know working with him for six years on the show so you know working with the actors is important to me and, and all of the things I just told you about is all about communication it's about being that guy that communicates everything you could be a great director and have everything in your head but you can't do it alone you know this is not this is not an artist sitting you know in front of a canvas and painting you can do that alone you know you can you can write a song alone you can sit at a piano and write it alone you can't be a good director alone you just can't do it